On the ground with the money, losing directions. That's why I gotta get it. All this pain got me stressing. I was drumming to him. That's why I gotta get it. He bitching on the sun and throw a whole fin and chip it. Hey, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy DK. Nice, and we're back here again on another tip Thursday for you guys. And today, uh, if you guys can't tell by the title of the video, we got another blitz for you guys. But before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new for the, you know, second second installment, you know, second week of, of the, you know, the tip series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are getting some out of this on both sides of the ball. Well, let's hop right into it. So today uh, we have another blitz, but if I can be completely honest, something that I don't think is as good as what I showed last week, but it's a different look, right? You know... Uh, when people do maybe tend to pick up on tendencies or, you know, the placement of where you are as your user and things like that, and they're like, oh, shoot, you know, I know that this is a blitz or he's in this formation, this is what's going to happen. So when we're mixing in different things or different looks at a different formations, possibly throw somebody off. Now, however, though, this is another, you know, I like sitting in, in, in a in a Tampa 2 look or, or cover 2 look, sorry. Uh, but, you know, you could turn any zone into a different shell, really, if you wanted to. But uh, today, specifically, though, we're going to stay in Nickel Blitz 2. Uh, just due to the fact that, like, if you guys kind of see, I'm going to shift through all the plays in this formation. Uh, something very key that not a lot of people talk about when it comes to Madden is that you know the blitz angles and the way that things look right i feel like that a lot of that uh knowledge of of madden is is lost right or maybe it, it doesn't get um people just don't talk about it as much so like if we look at a play like cover one robber and look at a play like uh cover four palms the way that the defensive linemen you know are, are are blitzing down is even different so you would potentially get different you we could maybe set something up out of this if it, you know that's the way that the game worked right but like i said in this video though we're going to be going over nickel blitz two we're going to be going against uh not blocked running back so when they're sending five out and then when they're sending out four and blocking the running back right uh, my controller is kind of oh well actually no we're just yeah it's just something quick that i want to show show you guys this isn't this isn't anything crazy but we're going to go into replay mode and i'm going to show you guys that this actually does you know it, it does its job and then of course we're going to set up the coverage behind it depending upon the play at third right let's get to it all right so we're out here and this setup is is super uh it's kind of eh i don't know so what we're our user is going to be on opposite the running back that's the most important thing so what we're going to do is you can just press or you can play baseline press depends upon what you want to protect against uh but then what we want to do before we do anything is we want to blitz our linebackers so blitz all linebackers that's the look that we're going to have we're going to pinch our d-line and then we're going to blitz and we're going to like it, it, you want to spam that almost until uh, you get that uh, linebacker to go into the gap. So you're going to continuously do it. It only took one time for me to do it. Then the, the next most important thing is that you want to be able, you want to be standing like kind of head up on the guard as much as you can. And we want to get the touch up here, right? I talk about that a lot. Um, if you guys ever hear me on stream or whatever, we want to get this touch up. Now, just to adjust your coverage, I'd probably play hard flats just because and um yeah so so being that they're sending out the they're sending out five routes we could low-key put the put the slot corner in you know in coverage right so as you guys seen we're gonna go into replay here and that guy off the left side came off the edge clean right super fast too might i add that's like one of the faster like blitzes i've seen like come come off the edge clean like that to be honest so we're gonna go ahead uh and that that shoot that could and so i talk about like using certain blitzes in certain scenarios maybe this is something that you use when they're definitely sending five out because of how fast this guy's coming off the edge we'll just do it one more time uh just for the sake of the video and just so you guys can see it because honestly 
And that's, that, whoever that is really isn't that fast. I think that's Rashard Gary or no, Preston Smith. He's not even that fast. Like, I don't even, I'm using the Packers. I didn't sub anybody in. Uh, so now we're going to go against the blocked running back. And I just want to show you guys the, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to send the corner this time around because this is what we're going to do uh, versus the blocked running back. It's going to be the same setup, uh, but this time we're going to send the corner. Now, what, you, what we should see here is we should, yeah, eventually the corner was going to come. But now we're going to pick a play where we do have a blocked running back. It, the, the QB might make, it, because it's the computer, it should make the progression a little bit slower. You're going to see the corner come in. Let's do it. All right, so we are out here. Same thing. Uh, I had called the uh, bench pivot. You know, another. You know, and also too, just to note, it really doesn't matter where this linebacker ends up standing. We just want him down into the box or like where the linemen are, as as far down as possible. So everything is the same. Make sure we're baseline pressing or just press. Uh, blitz all linebackers. We're going to keep pressing until the linebacker stands in the gap. Now, what we could do is we could play over the top if we don't like the uh, like the pressing animation. You can play over the top. You won't get the press animation. You'll be fine. We're just, you know, we're playing press coverage so we can get the slot corner down into the box, right? We're gonna let them call the play. Make sure we get our touch up. Now, as you see, and now I don't have the control. It's the computer that's the quarterback. He just he just made a slow progression, like I said. I knew that that was going to happen. Why? Because everything else was bagged, as it should have been. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. We should get the pressure that, we, that we're looking for once again. Okay, so it was a quick throw because I would moved my user, I suppose. Uh, but either way, we're going to just go into a replay here. So you guys seen, he had the, the pressure was there. Slot corner was coming. The ball isn't even released. Bro is in his grill. He's maybe a yard or two short. He's there. Horrible user by me. I peeled. I mean, it's not necessarily a horrible, horrible user because look, you're gonna give up something, right? You know, there there is things open. The tight end would have gotten actually open if. Uh, actually, I don't remember if I. No, I I kept cloud, so I don't know. But uh, the, the, we need to cover as much of the field and all the routes that he could possibly throw, uh, quick, before the blitz gets there. So once again, just to show you guys one more time. Uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. I don't think. Oh, and then I'll show you guys in-game footage as well of this working. So boom, get our touch up, incomplete pass. I now I've shown you guys that it it works three times in a row that it works versus block running back, twice when it works versus uh not block running back when we send the corner when we don't send the corner. This is pretty good heat. This is pretty good heat. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, and you guys mix in some coverage shells. Uh, whether okay, so like you know what? Let me show you guys. Like once again, you could turn this into, so you could turn that into a cover three, right? And then if you wanted to like soft squat the single side receiver over there, let him call the play, boom. And then like he would have to, he would have to throw that, right? Because we have the corner coming. Or what you could do is this. Actually, I want to see that too. And and not send the corner, right? And then if we didn't send the corner, I would probably QB contain. I'd probably QB contain. Just the just the hold. Alright, that didn't work. So then we and then and then you just keep adjusting. You would just then keep adjusting if you didn't wanna if you didn't want to send that many people. And this is I'm I'm giving I'm giving extra 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 nuggets. So Maybe this, give them the same look. It's all about, like I said, that blitz angle that we want out of the out of that cover too. And then you could adjust your coverage accordingly. Now, like I said, we're going to hop into, you know, just some in-game footage, a couple of clips of you guys, you know, watching the blitz come in. This is gonna be the outro. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me in this series. Hopefully you guys are learning something. Hopefully this helps. Make sure we leave a like, comment, subscribe if we are new. So next time, guys, peace out.